all, welcome back to another video. It's me, Cinnamon, and you all voted for this video. The majority of you said different types of players in Wild Horse Island, so I am here to deliver that. Also, the people in this video is not real, it's just me on different accounts. <laughs> I literally made an account for this, so if you see another account, that's me. Also, just another thing, like, I'm never going to be active on that account, so if you see someone else with that account, that is not me. I'm just clarifying that now. So, let's begin! Gimme, 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 I am new and demand a horse! And we have started with the new demanding players. Now, not all players are like this. Some of them are, like, new and trying to figure out the game. And others, like, are like this. And they don't work for anything. They really just beg you for stuff. Most likely, this player is mostly, like, new to the game. But they're good enough with the game that they know what rare horse is when they see it. And they do not think it's impolite to beg you and chase you around for your horse. These players were less common in the beginning times of Wild Horse Islands, but is as the game horse? has gotten more is popular, there have gotten to be more of them. But normally, this type of player doesn't stay like this forever. Sometimes they'll change, or they actually will get the good horse that they'll be trying to get. So these players don't stay like this for long... But there are always more to replace I need them. Your horse. And if you've been playing Wild Horse Islands for a while, now. you'll know how long give it will it. last. Hey, you, give me horse now. My dad owns Roblox. He's gonna ban you. Give me horse. Ugh, you're mean. Give me your horse. And Ugh. if you've made this long, that means you're either in a really good server where it's good trading and you don't want to leave. Or you find this amusing, which I can sometimes. Okay, and enough of that, and on to the next type of player in Wild Horse Islands. So see you there. I really should stop saying that. It's really just a transition. Like, it's just like a second for you guys. The next type of player we have in Wild Horse Islands are the role players. The role players can come in many different types. The first type I will show you is the normal horse role play, where basically you're a horse rider, you either do dressage, cross country, or you just do good old barrels. Like, yeah, you can really do anything. Show jumping, too. So, like, these people just, like, role play, like, riding horses and just horse rider life. These role players can either be found in groups or can be playing alone. Most of the time, I find them alone. These role players will use the role play chat or sometimes they'll just forget what chat they're in. As you look in front of us, there's a wild role player, which is aka me on my other account. So they are doing a horse role play where they're getting their horse all nice and clean. I find whenever I watch role plays, the ones in groups always last longer. The person that does it alone normally lasts for about a day, but the groups will last like a couple hours or maybe just an hour. It really depends. If it's an organized role play, it'll last for a while, but if it's not, maybe like 30 minutes tops. Now, for the next Thank type you. of role players we have, it's sort of like the horse rider life, but it's like a mix in the between them. It's more like the normal horses in a stable that they role play, Let's but go. there aren't any riders. Or there might be one and like they, people have to like fight to choose who is the rider because everyone wants to be a horse. Behold, an example. Where's your owner? So, let's see. Is this horse dramatic or not? Let's see. Was it abandoned or does it still have an owner? Let's, oh, and it's a dramatic one. And it goes sit in a corner in self-pity. But not for long since we are going on to our next type of role player. Our next type of role player is the wild horse herds. This could be individual or this could be in a group. Mostly seen in groups as wild horse herds. And this person is basically like that one movie. It was like Spirit Riding Free. I never used to watch it when I was little. Our next type of player is the dream horse player. This person will do anything to get their dream horse. Trust me, I've been there. I've done that too. But today I'm showing it in the extremes and the very rude way of doing it. But people do the polite way. I'm just doing it for Can fun. Can I trade you? It's not for trade. Please. Good offer. Very, very good offer. I'm sorry, but he's very important to me and I'm not trading him. Rude, you are a terrible person for not trading me my dream horse. And this is the impolite way to get your dream horse. But, I mean, a lot of people know how to do the polite way. I did the polite way. You just have to wait and eventually you'll find someone that will accept your offer. 
The next person I'm going to show is the person that's constantly playing this game for horses, coins, everything. This is Monopoly to them. This is their child and they are going to get rich on it. Behold, example. Must catch horses. This is my only purpose in life. And they will catch horses till the day they die. And by the end, they'll have around 10 million tokens, every single rare horse, every single rare die, and every single accessory. And I don't know how with that inventory space, but they're probably doing quests too. Our next type of person is the shady person in the alley. The one that everyone says not to trade, but you want to trade it because you're in a desperate situation. Here is an example. Give me your soul for your dream horse. <laughs> Now they're doing the transaction as the person trades souls away. By the way, this is a Halloween event, not the actual soul. As they do the trade with the alley person, they do not suspect a thing. But the alley person is, of course, really suspicious. And they are going to be gone in an instant. Dead souls. And now dead silence consumes as they just realize what happened. The sneaky person in the alley was, in fact, a scammer. Now this person is just thinking about every single she mistake they went my wrong. She soul. No, I played during the Halloween event for those. I am scared. <laughs> and now they're going to go run away and cry to every single player they see about that. And they're probably going to get nothing from every single player. Well, no, there might be someone that gives them something, but a lot of people will kind of be like, Hey, like we told you not to go to the person in the alley. Thank you all that watched to the end of this video, and I hope you all really enjoyed. This is something new. It was kind of like acting in a way, doing like the voice effects and all that. I thought this was like, kind of like really fun. So yeah, this is it. Make sure to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye!